Coming to you live from Jones Bridge, part of the Chattahoochee River National Recreational Area. We are super excited to be live on location. Jones Bridge is a 150 acre plot. This park has two big bends in the Chattahoochee River, 19 miles from downtown Atlanta. We can't wait to explore it with you. Hey, don't forget your passes, y'all. You will get a ticket if you don't buy a park pass. You can check them out at the kiosk at Cochran Shoals or Soap Creek or check out the link in the description below. Today, we have a special trip for you we're going to get our boat wet we have a 16 foot river hawk i love this boat and it's a great way to explore the chattahoochee river national recreational area let's go so why visit jones bridge national river recreational area i'll tell you hiking there are some very awesome hiking trails that go right along the rolling hillside along the river banks and actually jones bridge collapsed in 2018 so the trail that is there at jones bridge is a moderate hike it's about five Five miles long and if you hit it during the spring and summer months it has some very gorgeous natural wildflowers and will make for some beautiful scenery while you're on your hike at jones bridge you can find the chattahoochee environmental educational center they have programs that are led by rangers for educational purposes they do summer camps field trips and it's also the trailhead unit location at jones bridge they have actually two different boat ramps one for motorized boats like the one we're in now my 16 foot river hawk i love and then the second one is for non motorized like paddle boards kayaks and canoes it is a dog friendly park lots of places to picnic with the family and hang out and of course i love to fly fish you can actually access the river to fly fishing as well so you're probably wondering if you're a fly fisherman what is the closest fly shop to jones bridge and it is the alpharetta outfitters which is located downtown which is about seven miles 15 minutes give or take depending on which direction you're coming from areas around jones bridge it's in a very unique position just being due west of the chattahoochee it is on the county line of Gwinnett and Fulton and due east is Gwinnett and due west is Fulton. Those are two very different areas as they are counties. After a great time in the park, I always like to go out and grab a bite to eat, maybe do some retail therapy, whichever your poison. You can go to Peachtree Corners, which is just due south. Peachtree Corner is actually the newest city in Gwinnett County and Gwinnett County is actually the fastest growing county in the state of Georgia. One of my favorite places to visit is the former at Peachtree Parkway. So in the forum, they've got the retail area with grocery shopping, clothing shopping, and home goods stores. And then on the dining side, they have a very diverse group of options ranging from Japanese hibachi, Southwest, and American Flair. So you really have a very diverse group of things you can get into at the forum, and that's why I love it so much. Let's talk communities around the park and median price points of what's happening in the area. Peachtree Corners is gonna come in at 517000 and Johns Creek comes in at $677,000. That is a significant difference. All right, so northwest of the park is Johns Creek and you've got neighborhoods like Country Club of the South ranging from 600 up to three and a half million dollars. That is a massive golf community and an awesome place to be a member at if you're in the local Atlanta area. River Glen and River Ridge areas was built in the 90s. The prices are ranging from $350,000 up to $700,000. Rivermont, which was built in the 80s, ranges from 200 up to $430,000, with larger lots up to $600,000. Rivermont Village condos, those prices range from 130 up to $200,000. Let's switch gears. So let's start median price point on the southeast part of the park in the Peachtree Corner side. So we got Neely Farms from the early 80s up through the 90s. You got larger homes ranging from 500,000 up to a million dollars. River State comes in at $400,000, ranging up to $700,000. North Manor coming in at $225,000, ranging up to $350,000. That is a lower price point than we've been speaking of in this video, but it's also maybe an option for some investment real estate if you're looking into that. That's a wrap on Jones Bridge. I love that Chattahoochee River National Area and all the communities that surround it. If this video was helpful for you in any way, let us know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, don't miss another episode. Peace.